yes, the beautiful world of Raft, where there's a shark that wants to eat me, garbage floating around, and a community post with 35,000 votes saying that I should build a floating city. So there was a unique comment in there saying that I should build something from the game, and I thought we should maybe try to build that. Hot dang, that might have been a bad idea. Maybe some sort of smaller scale version of it. But yeah, Varuna Point. So I'll just quickly mod in a few different items. Give myself 10,000 plastic. Slap an anchor down and drop it. And then I need to figure out how big this island actually is. So one, two, three, 31. And then we'll make it a square and fill all of this in. And the shark is already trying to eat our city away. Would you not do that? I mean, I can't cut you up right now. So I'll just, it didn't even work. I'll just build a new one. And finally, over 900 blocks, we have a floating platform. So it's time to stick up some walls and then we'll fortify the edge of it so the shark can't eat it. And then we'll place up some supports for the roof so we can put a top on all of this. And and over 7,000 wood layer, we have ourselves our first little raft piece. And a shark. I had to stay away from him. He wants to eat me. So I think the first thing we should build is this nice little red hut right over here. And then we can head inside of our beautiful little structure that's all nicely decorated. Slop down a nice little couch in here. Maybe throw in a chair and then sit down to watch a couple memes. Obviously get rickrolled and then thank today's sponsor, which is, you guessed it, Raid Shadow Legends. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your own team, develop your champions, and raid your way. And when raiding, you'll come across some crazy cool bosses Here's three of my favorites. I mean, you can't go wrong with the typical dragon at the end of the dungeon with its wall of fire attack guarding a giant pile of golden treasure. There's also a terrifying spider den with tons of little spiderlings ready to poison you. But Sylvania is the final boss of the spirit keep. She's got a powerful melting attack and a cleansing spirit that removes all debuffs and she's very, very difficult if you don't build your team properly. And this month, Forge Pass Season 3 just dropped with some amazing rewards like new champions and new skins like the one for Madame Cirrus. And the bigger news is that the Death Knight, one of Raid's most popular champions, just got super powered into the ultimate Death Knight, a powerful new legendary. And the best part is everyone can get him for free just by logging in for seven days between today and October 27th. You can also use the promo code DKRISES for a bunch of free items to instantly level up your new strongest champion all the way to level 50, five-star ascension. So this is the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click on my link in the video description or scan my QR code here, on the screen, you'll get a free champion, Virgus, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, an XP boost, and an ancient shard, all worth about $30 so you can summon some amazing champions as soon as you get into the game. So I've got to say that was a pretty nice little house for us. Also, I did load up the fridge with a lot of fun things that we can use to build the rest of this island. Now, I'm kind of curious on what I should build next. Should I build this gigantic destructed structure. Oh man, there's a lot there. Or should I go for the giant crane? I kind of want to do the crane. I'm not going to lie. I'm also wondering if I can build in no clip mode because that would be sweet. If I oh, dirty McGurdy. All right. So we need a little structure up here and then we can start building up some of these on top of it. I don't know how big this tower is, but it needs to be large and in charge. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really tall. So the majority of the crane tower has been completed, and I wanted to take you with me as I started building out some of the edge for it. It's going to suck because we have to put out those support beams, but I mean, that's kind of the way everything in this game is right now. Boop. Yes, and I have no idea how far to make this, so I'm just going to make it far. Also, building wood into my forehead is kind of a weird feeling in this game. I just go like this and boop, it's in my head. And we'll cover this up with regular flooring. And I'll build up probably these because that's probably the closest thing to an actual fence on there that I can make. Not going to lie, that actually looks fairly good. I guess I could put a roof on it, but... I'll be honest, I don't really want to. That's a lot of time. But thankfully, I have plenty of time and I did it anyway. But yeah, that's got a lot more going for it than the boring thing it was before. Okay, so somewhere right about in here, we need to drop down some sort of weight system. And I think I can do it the good old fashioned way by dropping this puppy down, please. Please, come on down. You're the next can... He's not going to come down. Can I do that? 
Can I build down? Can I? I want to build down. I would like to build down now. Thank you. So we'll do the next best thing and use the detailed planks to bring it on down. Okay, so it doesn't quite look the same as actually having a big structure over there, but it's good enough for girls I go out with. My wife would be like, yep, that's enough because she's the only girl I go out with anymore. And wow, that's uh, 9,900 planks that I just used up. Hot dang. Time to spawn in a buttload more. Oops. <laughs> I had some in my inventory, so it just did that. That was unfortunate. Also, this is annoying me. Why do you do this to me, game? I want to place things here. But you're like, nah, bro, we can't do that. All right, that looks very, very close to similar. I think I'm going to put in some zip line lines all the way down across there. I should just be able to connect one. I don't even know. Ooh, I can put it right there. That's beautiful. We'll put that there and then one about midway. And then I can drag the rope up and over, please. Oh, yes, it worked. That's amazing. Uh oh, dying of lack of water poisoning. Ugh. Shove that in my mouth hole. Okay, I really, really like how that turned out. It even kind of looks very similar. I mean, it's obviously not the same, but it looks like a giant crane, which is cool. And because I've chosen the life of pain, I decided to paint it all yellow as well. But that's okay, at least it goes fast. Oh, did I actually paint that rope? Can I paint the rope? Oh, I can't. I can just go zoom and paint everything else. Nice. It's a uh, yellowish turd color. I like it. Kind of. Not really, though. So the next step is going to be quite painful. We're going to build up the rest of this ruined building. Is these nests? <laughs> There's nests up here. I forgot about that. But yeah, we'll build up the rest of this. Mm, we want the scaffolding on the backside. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no, because that sounds painful, too. I also feel like the scale of my building is not nearly that scale, but I have what I can work with. Also, these are my arms. <laughs> hey, look, that's weird. It's like uh, a fever dream. And yeet. Wait, what? I threw it behind my head? This is awkward. I don't know how I can... I don't even have a head. That's uh really weird. So I'm just going to stab things with a knife. And <laughs> don't do it. I promise, man. I promise. There's better ways. Yeah! Okay, you know what? I'm done thinking about that now. That was weird. <laughs> Speaking of fever dreams. All right, so we'll start right about this place. Just kidding. We'll start right about here. Uh-huh. You... Tell me again how you like building things. Oh, floaty hands of wonderfulness. Also, I don't know why I'm using sticks because I can straight up use walls in this situation. Do we want to use walls or should I use the fancy boy walls? These are the ones we need today. Okay, so this doesn't look nearly as cool as I was hoping. These beams, I can't make them any bigger. So it's just like tiny little toothpick mode. And these beams are so much bigger and so much cooler over here. I just can't build them. So I've kind of got an idea that maybe I want to make this fully functional, like livable. And we should put our resources in here and stuff like that. Ooh, also, I can fly with the seagulls. Look at me. I'm a crow. Ah! And it just kind of clipped through my wall. No, oh, that was stupid. So if I'm going to make it a livable structure, I start need to have a few places in here. Like this area is super cool. I love this place, but we got this wall here. So let's patch up the wall. And I think it'd be fun to kind of like use a different style stuff. Like where we're patching it up, make it look like it's a different material. And I totally did that the wrong way. So deleted. And then I'll patch the roof up here. Good, because it's raining outside. This place could be my cookery area. And by cookery, I totally mean smelter. Let's give two of these to me. Thank you very much. And I don't even know. We can place some. Wow, they're big and in charge. I forgot how large they were. We'll put one there. And we'll put one here. Ooh, I likey, likey. Uh, hopefully this doesn't destroy everything. Oh, good. That worked kind of nicely. We don't need these anyway. Cool. And then I'll spawn in a good number of large storage chests. And we can use... Use those to kind of make a nice little storage library. Okay, I like that. We have our furnaces. We have these things. It's also getting dark in here. I was thinking maybe in here we should make some biofuel processors too. And the good thing about nice high ceilings is we can put lanterns up on the walls. I'm also getting rid of all of these supports because they were a bad idea. And the roof is supported with the cross beam. So that's all right. And then we need to put in two fuel tanks right in here. So we can properly connect those this way. Nice. And then for some masochistical reason, we need to place puffer heads inside of the thing. I don't know why we need heads of fish to create biofuel, but that's what it takes. Now, this seems like a pretty good area right next to our little shop. I'm thinking we could put in a garden area, and by garden, a place for the animals. Now, I built stuff like this in the past using the sprinklers, and I kind of like them to skip one. 
One, two, there we go. And we'll surround that with beautiful amounts of grass. And of course, we'll throw in a fence around it. Do I want this rope fence? I think that should be fine anyway. This is also a really nice location to put in a water purification system, which also kind of makes me scared because we're gonna have to drill a hole in the ground. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I forgot. I gotta drill a hole away in the ground. Yoink, okay, we'll just put it down here. Like such as, oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, and then maybe that way? Sure. And then I'm gonna have to build up the pipes all the way up to the surface. I don't like building pipes vertically in this game. It always seems broken, but I don't really even know what's going on with it. But at least we can plug that in and start getting some water here, and then I'll take that and run back up to the surface. And I guess I'll plug in these two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We'll just put this back where it was and connect these, I guess. Sure, that'll work. Guys, you're supposed to connect to each other. Don't make me, thank you. All right, cool. The water is hooked up. Now we can spawn in some animals. Who should we get today? Should we get a shark? I want to, <laughs> oops, can't spawn a shark. Actually, the boar would be kind of fun too, but you can only put that on an island. So I guess we'll do like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Nice, so we should have a fairly good looking herd of animals, including little ostriches. Look how adorable they are, I should name them. Sub to Blitz, yes, that's a good name. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then he will be our best friend. This area over here looks really nice too. I don't know why I like it so much, but this area could be great for a greenhouse. So let's see how it looks with a couple trees planted in here. And I'm thinking I wanna plant all coconuts in here. So that should look nice all the way around that. Let's try to build up a few of these in here too. Just some advanced crop plots right on the inside. We can put things in here like strawberries and carrots. Just kidding, carrots aren't in the game. I intentionally left space to put a scarecrow here in the corner and the game's like, sorry, it doesn't fit there. Uh, it's annoying. We'll put it there instead. And then we'll put one over here and we'll slap one in over on this side, just so our scarecrows are ominously staring at us. And not only staring at us, but also staring at our beehives because I wanna put some beehives in here because I think they're one of the coolest things in this game for some reason. And then we'll put in a few of these things around it. And because I'm a very simple man, I'm just gonna plant red flowers in every single one of these locations. Now I would say something about the interior design of a red flower with the blue honey hive, but no, I'm just lazy. Yeah, that's a nice little beautiful corner. I like that. Oh, those trees are growing up so nicely. I love it. Also, these flowers aren't the ones I wanted, but you know what? I don't really care right now because these things are annoying. Please stop making that noise. We're gonna throw you in the ocean now. Yay, pollution! It's okay, it's not like the real ocean. It'll actually despawn in this game, which is a good Woo! thing. All right, we got this cool little area there. We got our farm, we've got our working area. I wanna go up to this next area and make like a little kitchen probably in there. How do I get up there though? Am I gonna have to build some ladders? I guess so. Should I ladder up right here? Or I could make stairs, that'd be kind of neat. I can stair up right here. Let's do that, potentially. We're gonna have to remove that thing, maybe, yes. And then, uh, nope. and then do that, just kidding, game. Be nice to me again, please don't break, please don't break anything. Hey, it worked, cool. Then we can put a torch back here. Good job, game. You told me not to do something and I did it anyway. And I totally want to add in the, that's not the way you, do things right game. We don't want to fall off this height down under the floor. That would hurt. Now, this is interesting too. We can make it up another level and that floor is kind of all broken up there. So it might be kind of fun to repair this. I like this idea. We can do that. We'll repair this area and then we could use this as, I don't even know up here anymore. I do know. Oh yeah, this would be a good spot to put all of our electronics and junk. So we'll pop in an antenna over here, one over here, maybe one over in this corner too. And then we'll slap in a receiver right over here. Could work, might work, maybe it will work. Batteries, battery in the hole. Oh, too far from receiver, that's annoying. Fine, I guess I'll make it closer than game. Is that what you really want? I'll give you what you want, what you really, really want. I'll give you what you want, what no. you... 
really. It'll be like, wah, wah, it's too close. Oh, it actually worked. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to make this thing actually float. That'd be toxic, though. This thing's huge. 900 blocks. I need 10 engines to make it work. But the good news is we have a cool area in here that I can make a dining room and a food processing place. We just need to enclose the walls a little bit. And then right here in front of this area, we'll put in a grill and then a juicer and then another grill. Okay, that's not really how I wanted to do it because I wanted it all centered there, but I'm too lazy to change it now. <laughs> Did I say it out loud? I didn't say that out loud. We'll throw some catfish on the grill to make it look all official and stuff. And beat. That sounds like a good smoothie. That'd be terrible. And now we get to play the magical fun game of find interesting things to decorate this place with. I'm thinking maybe a, I don't know. I don't really like those heads. We're gonna stay away from those. But a hammock sounds fun. So does a pair of shoes by the hammock and a fireplace because why not? And then we'll put the hammock over in this corner, maybe a little bit like that. Put the pair of shoes down below it. We'll put a nice little flower on the table. Put up the fireplace in the corner again with a nice pile of firewood next to it and a plant that'll turn into fire eventually. That's pretty cool. I like that. Of course, what kind of a kitchen doesn't need a refrigerator? Where do we put that? I think over by the food might be a good spot for it. That'll be cool. I know this is a little bit getting old, but I mean, the surfboard's a really nice item in this game because it can be stacked up in two different directions. One on the wall, one in the back. Kind of breaks up the room a little bit. And since it is a kitchen, let's spawn in some of these things, whatever they're called, seasonings and fish bones because that's what we're putting on the grill is fish. We'll also slap in a tiki up here, hopefully. Oh, come on, you can fit in there. Good job, buddy, I like you. Not gonna lie, I like having the seasonings right behind the grill. I think that looks cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's a little bit larger and not as cozy as I would hope, but I mean, this is a big building and we have a lot of space here. Plus we already have our house down over on this area where we can come in here after a nice hard day's work and sit down and watch some more memes. So I know it's not exactly the same as the rune skyscraper that we have there, but I think I like it actually more. It's actually livable. We have different foods and things. We still have the giganto crane up top. It, I mean, my version of it anyway. And plus it's livable. I mean, we have our animals down here that are living and grazing and have a good time. We've got our food and our honey over on this area. Up in here is a nice dining center, and right down below, we've got the industrial complex. So, I think we did pretty good. I enjoy this build a lot. If you guys have any other suggestion of something you'd like me to see, let me know down below in the comments, and make sure you do check out Raid Shadow Legends. And thanks again for them sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members for supporting the channel, including Autodev, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, General Harris, Maxer, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Eagle Ark, Spencer T, Zarnoff, Royal Deegan, Sarcasmorex, Baron Fox, Whiskey, Splatter Sax, Joe B, Dog Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geek Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Brad, KDF, Dalton C, Hellbora, Mr. M Gaming, Sikander, Kyle, Kieran, Grayson, Monkey, Zane, Mr. Cripple One, and Epic Bacon.